Hello YouTube, friends and family, whoever watches this video, you're in the kitchen with King today and we're going to do some turkey chili, one of my favorite recipes. You have your ingredients lined up, got my minced garlic over here, um, I have the pickle kind, I like to take that and chop it up myself, um, got my peppers, my onions, uh, my seasonings over here in the bowl. Uh, you probably want to take about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Um, turmeric is one of my favorites. Uh, along with Famous Dave's, you have your extra virgin olive oil. Make sure it's 100%, make sure it's a good brand. And over here on our other side, we have the crock pot ready to go. I got the Black and Decker crock pot. It's uh, Wi-Fi enabled, so you can control it uh, with your phone. You'll have to get out of bed um, if you want to try to get rest. Um, and then you have your ground turkey from the meat market. I tell y'all guys all the time, go to the meat market. If you don't have one available, just make sure you be careful. I got the manager special on this one, so you know the relationship I have with uh, cattle mix. But um, yeah, those are the ingredients on the right side. You have your beans, you have your tomato sauces and uh, diced tomatoes. You have your seasonings. Um, McCormick is my favorite. I do the mild and I do 30% less sodium. It's good for people like me who have uh, acid reflux or GERD, if you want to call it. Um, it helps out a lot. Doesn't have me waking up in the middle of the night uh, with my throat on fire. All right, got the olive oil in the pan, got the meat in the pot, and they both are heated. Grab your seasonings, take your finger, take a fork, whichever you prefer, mix it up real well. Um, it may look like a lot of seasoning to some, but it's really not. When you consider the amount of meat that you have, spread it out evenly over the meat as much as you can before you get ready to mix it all well together. Um, you wanna make sure you got an even distribution of seasoning. Grab yourself a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon, don't want to destroy your pots, and mix that in very well. Um, you want to make sure that you flip the meat over and get all the meat from the bottom. Uh, like I said, once this all cooks together in a pot, um, you just want to make sure that you have a nice distribution of seasoning over turkey meat. This is turkey meat, ground turkey meat at that, so you know it doesn't have the most explosive taste. You have to give it that taste. Grab all of your chopped items and put them in a pan. Got your oil hot, got all of your stuff, you put it in there. Take your time, don't spill it, don't make a mess. <laughs> Especially for the guys watching this channel, I know a lot of um, a lot of the subscribers from my other channel, you guys don't really do too much cooking. <laughs> so pay attention, especially for your wife. <laughs> All right, get yourself, get your wood, uh, get yourself a spatula or another wooden spoon if you got one, and mix that up. Make sure it's even. Uh, you want a nice even cook. You don't want to cook it too long because you don't want it too soft. I'm just going to cook it until I start to see some browning, and then uh, we'll take it to the crock pot. Don't want to forget that. But yeah, just flip it over a few times. And like I said, I know a lot of guys uh, don't dabble in the kitchen. So I took it upon myself to make this video and show you guys how to make something that's quick and easy for you, your wife, your kids. Um, it's a game day meal. I usually use it for game day. I'm making it uh, Michigan and Michigan State play basketball tonight. So that's dinner tonight for me. Um, just a, a easy, quick meal for you fellas. Um, and for you ladies, when you wanna make a meal when you have a big family. So. Just want to keep that going, keep it flipping. Don't want it to cook too long. Don't want to burn it, guys. All right, that's ready to go. Turn the fire off. Um, you got the peppers and onions ready. You got the ground turkey ready. Um, I threw the lid on there to make it cook faster, so um, that's just a pointer for y'all. Uh, we gonna head to the crock pot. Now, back to the crock pot. <laughs> Let's get this going. All right, the, the crock pot is preheated already. I already have it started. Uh, first thing you wanna do is put some sauce at the bottom. You don't want your meat at the bottom dry. 
Um, I can't stand that when I go to somebody's house and there's barely any sauce. I only used a quarter of the sauce. Pay attention to that, fellas. <laughs> quarter of the sauce at the bottom. And then you come with your meat with the juice in it. Ground turkey will produce its own juices. You want to go half of that ground turkey. And then after that, you want to come with half of the chopped peppers and onions and garlic. Now, you want to come back and you want to grab your beans, half of that, and you want to get your diced tomatoes and go half with those. And the reason why I do half like this, I want to even mix. I do half first, then I mix, and then I come back and I do the other half, and then I mix again. Again, oh, there's my son's cup. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> again, you want to make sure that you get flavor in every part of this chili. Because like I said, it's turkey, so you have to create the flavor. Um, but mix that up real well. Um, make sure that you got all the beans and everything uh, distributed nice and well. You want to go back and uh, put a little bit more salt, about another 50%, leaving you with about a quarter, as you can see. And then you want to go back and grab your meat. Take your pot, put the rest in there. Be careful, don't be sloppy like I just was. <laughs> And get your meat and put your meat in, man, in uh, this pot, man. Excuse the pot. The dishwasher has absolutely destroyed the outside of it for some reason. Uh, go get the rest of the peppers. Uh, then you're going to get the rest of your beans and the rest of the tomato sauces. Toss those in. I said sauces. It's good Lord. Sauces. and <laughs> Toss those in. Um, and make sure you rinse the beans. I definitely want to point that out. Some people will take the can and just pour it right in there. You don't want to pour, pour a lot of that uh, preservative juice into your chili, into your food. Take them, put them in a the strainer, rinse them out. Uh, but add the rest of your ingredients. Uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, grab the powders. You got your chili powders. You're going to toss those in both packs, the entire packs. Mix that up. Now that that's mixed up pretty well, now you go in with your chili powders. I fired a little bit too soon. <laughs> Y'all pardon me today, man. It's been a long day. Put your seasonings in, man, over the top. Um, and I have another ingredient behind the uh, crock pot back there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's brown sugar. Get your brown sugar, and you want to take about a tablespoon and put that in. should be about a little, no, a little bit more. <laughs> Put that in, give everything the final mix. Make sure you get down, dig down to that bottom, flip everything over. Like I said, you don't want just plain dry meat at the bottom. You gotta pull all of that to the top, mix everything. And then once that chili gets to go on all the juices, um, everything would go into the meat and you're going to have an amazing taste uh, once this is done. So grab your lid and make sure you secure it. And bam. Now, important, fellas, you want to clean your area. <laughs> I know a lot of the wives and the women probably laugh at this part. Um, you want to clean your area. Clean as you go, fellas. Do not make a mess in the kitchen and just walk away. Get the kitchen rag, wipe up, throw everything in the garbage. Clean up your area. Simple. All right, the chili has been going and we are ready to take a look. So you've got about an hour left to go. Um, I opened it once already, so that's probably why it's not bowling as much. But 
you see all the juices came to the top. Like I said, Turkey Meat creates its own juices. You don't have to pour water in there or some type of broth. Let it do its thing. Um, take it and mix it up, man. You know, make sure that you pull that meat up to the top still. Um, and have everything evenly distributed. And then you're gonna take your lid and close it back up and walk away. Do not mess with the chili too much, guys. I know some people like to go back in there and get to digging around, close it up, go sit down and watch some TV. And there you have it. Oh, turkey chili with cheese and sour cream. And I got my oyster crackers on the table, but let's take a look at this. Look at that. Look at that, man. Not overrunning with juices and fluid, not dry. It's right in the middle and it's perfect. Let's taste it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Y'all get out of here, man. I'm going to eat. <laughs>